Bobcat Zero Turn mowers are built to get the job done safely and efficiently. Before using a Bobcat Zero Turn mower, familiarize yourself with the instructions in this video and in your mower's operation and maintenance manual to avoid injury to yourself, others, or damage to the mower. In this video, we'll cover safe handling, safety features, rollover protection, how to handle uneven, wet, or difficult terrain, and how to keep those around you safe. Be sure to follow any local regulations that may apply. Safe operation starts with the operator. Wear appropriate clothing, including long pants, eye protection, hearing protection, and closed-toed shoes. Loose clothing or jewelry can get tangled in moving parts and should be avoided. Put up long hair. Bobcat Zero Turn riding mowers are designed for one operator. Do not carry children or passengers. Your Bobcat Zero Turn riding mower was designed with safety in mind, but proper safety also depends on you. As with any piece of equipment, always be aware of your surroundings while operating your mower. Do not operate in low light conditions. Do not operate if you're experiencing drowsiness or under the influence of alcohol or drugs that may affect your judgment or reaction time. Avoid operating in poor weather conditions and never operate if there is the potential for lightning. Make sure to clear the mowing area of trash, rocks, and other objects as they may damage the blades or become projectiles. It is important to know the direction of the mower's discharge chute. Ensure that the discharge chute is pointed in a safe direction. Do not mow with the discharge shield raised, removed, or altered unless there is a grass collection system or mulch kit in place and working properly. Be aware of bystanders and animals while operating the mower. Children are especially drawn to these machines, so make sure there is another responsible adult keeping them away from the mower while in use. Check behind you when backing up and do not mow in reverse unless absolutely necessary. Make sure the traction levers are in the neutral lock position, power takeoff or PTO switch is in the off position, and the parking brake is engaged before starting the engine. Bobcat Zero Turn Riding Mowers are equipped with interlocks that prevent the engine from starting while the traction control levers are in drive, the PTO is engaged, or the parking brake is off. If the operator leaves the operator station without setting these functions properly, the system will shut down the engine. Never tamper with the operator presence interlock system. Start the mower while seated in the driver's seat, never while standing next to it. Do not climb onto a mower that's already running. Some mowers are equipped with a rollover protective structure, or ROPS. The ROPS reduces the risk of an operator getting pinned under the machine in the event of a rollover. The ROPS should remain in the raised position, but may be lowered when necessary, such as when mowing under low-hanging trees or other structures. Be sure to raise the ROPS and fasten the seatbelt as soon as the vertical clearance allows. Mowers that have a ROPS are equipped with a seatbelt. Wearing the seatbelt with the ROPS in the raised position can help prevent serious injury or death in the event of a rollover. Do not wear the seatbelt when the ROPS is lowered. If your mower does not have a ROPS, it will not have a seatbelt. Always stop the mower blades when crossing surfaces other than grass or when pedestrians are near. Do not start the mower blades until you are ready to start mowing. When you are ready to stop the mower, park or stop the machine on level ground. Before leaving the mower, Disengage the PTO, set the parking brake, and remove the key. Ensure that all moving parts have stopped before you leave the operator station. If the cutter deck becomes clogged, stop the engine and wait until the blades stop rotating before clearing the cutter deck. Always keep hands and feet away from all rotating parts. Before operating a Bobcat Zero Turn mower on any terrain, be aware of the slope of the land. Reduce speed and use extreme caution on slopes. Do not mow slopes when grass is wet. Do not mow slopes near drop-offs or water. Do not mow excessively steep slopes and stay off slopes on which the machine cannot back up. Other safety rules to remember include avoid starting or stopping on a slope. Do not turn on slopes unless necessary and then turn slowly and downhill when possible. Do not make sudden changes in speed or direction. Keep all movement on the slope slow and gradual. Be especially aware of other potential rollover hazards, such as steep drop-offs or any place where the surface is uneven. 
Establish a safety zone to ensure that the mower is operated at a safe distance from such hazards. Mowing near bodies of water also requires caution. Not only does the ground often slope near water, but it also may be soft or muddy and could cause your mower to roll over or become stuck. Inspect areas surrounding water on foot before you get too close with your mower. Remember to maintain your safety zone from the edge of the water. Even if there is not a permanent water fixture, recent rains may cause water to pool in low areas, so use caution around depressions. When in doubt, inspect the area on foot and use a walk-behind mower or string trimmer. Observe any signs prohibiting use of riding mowers. Sometimes there will be obstacles you need to observe and handle appropriately. If an obstacle cannot be removed, you may need to mow around it. Attempting to ride over a large, hard object may damage the machine and create a safety hazard. Be cautious when mowing particularly tall grass, as it may hide obstacles. Inspect your mower regularly to ensure that the ROPS and seat belt are working properly, the tire pressure is correct, and all shields and guards are in place and undamaged. Regularly inspect the blades, blade bolts, and cutter deck assembly for wear and damage. Never straighten or weld mower blades. Inspect or repair mower blades only after the engine has stopped and the blades have stopped rotating. Use extra caution when handling the mower blades, as the blades are sharp and can cause bodily harm. Always wrap the blades or wear gloves while inspecting the cutter deck and components. Be aware that rotating one blade on multi-blade mowers can cause other blades to rotate. When performing maintenance on your mower, keep bystanders away from the blades. All blades must be identical. Check blade bolts daily for tightness. Always replace worn or damaged blades and bolts to preserve balance. Keep the engine, muffler, battery compartment, and fuel storage area free of grass, leaves, debris buildup, or grease to reduce fire hazard. Gasoline is extremely flammable and gasoline vapors are explosive. Use extra care when handling. A fire or explosion from gasoline can cause serious injury or death. Allow the engine to cool before fueling. Fill the fuel tank in a well-ventilated area and on level ground. Do not overfill the fuel tank. If fuel is spilled, do not attempt to start the engine until the spill is cleaned up and the vapors have dissipated. Keep fuel containers electrically grounded to prevent static electricity sparks. If something doesn't appear to be functioning properly, or if general operation feels or sounds unusual, have your mower inspected by a qualified service professional before you continue to use it. Operators should be trained in the safety features and operation practices before using Bobcat zero-turn riding mowers. It is essential that training be provided in a language the operators can understand and that they have opportunities to ask questions. Training should cover the key points discussed in this video. Workers should receive refresher training when covering new terrain, operating new equipment, or whenever deemed necessary. Always use your best judgment and be aware of your surroundings. Remember the safety instructions from this video and the operation and maintenance manual when operating your mower. These tips will help you get the most out of your Bobcat Zero Turn mower and allow you to stay safe while getting the job done. For additional information, technical specifications, or training resource information for all Bobcat equipment, contact your dealer or visit bobcat.com training.